I'm Chef Richard Williams and today I'd like to uh, show you how to use to utilize every part of your pig. Apart from the, the obvious goods, what we have here is, a, is a, a parfait, an offal parfait, which consists of heart, kidneys and liver. So the difference between a pate and a parfait is that a parfait is slowly cooked on 110 degrees with, with eggs and butter in. But uh, again, it's basically spread all from the fridge and that's what we're looking for. So I've had the, uh, the pleasure of butchering my own pigs. So I could set, I, I could pick out all, all the offal that, that I wanted. But you can do this uh, and if you pass it on to your butcher and re request these certain cuts, um, he will do that for you. Uh, so next I'd like to um, inform you that three years ago I had a car accident. That's why my speech uh, sounds like I've had 10 pints of Stella. So I apologise for that. Um, but um, yeah. So enjoy this recipe and the recipe will be online. Uh, so we will um, be, you'll be able to see what you're cooking. But the, if you watch the video, you'll see, you'll see the step by step of making this beautiful parfait. So we're going to start with the offal which is basically the heart, the liver and the kidneys soaked in milk overnight. Uh, it's very important that you do that to take the iron out of the, the offal because you, you don't want it to uh, embrace that in the flavour. So we've unwrapped it, it's very important that you cover it over as well over, overnight. So we're going to drain it's an inner colander, like so, and we're also going to run some cold water to get rid of the excess milk. Leave that to soak, uh, leave that to drain off. And next we're going to add the, 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 the port, the Madeira and the brandy. The 300 ml of port. 300 ml of um, Madeira and, and uh, 200 ml of, of brandy. Okay, so we, it's very important that we get this on after we do the livers because we need to cool it before we uh, introduce it to the blended livers. So we're going to pour our, our alcohol in the, uh, in the pan. Because this is basically like an infusement, yeah? Infusion. So we have, in here we have one onion, thyme, and uh, half a bulb of garlic peeled, crushed and peeled. So this is, is only gonna flavor the alcohol. So we're gonna put that in, and we're gonna turn it on. We need, we need to reduce it to uh, approximately 200 milliliters of, of alcohol left. Okay. So now we're going to put our offal inside the blender. You can either use a, a blender like this or we can use a, a, a normal hand blender. So uh, it's very important to do this and do it well. Been blending this for about 10 minutes now, so I'm, I'm, now I'm, eventually I'll pass it through a fine sieve to uh, to eradicate all big lumps because with a parfait it has to be beautiful and smooth, so very important. This right, so next it's very important that we uh, double cling film the tin. What I've done here is I've oiled the tin so the cling film doesn't stick to the tin when removing and it's, and it's actually easier to get it out as well. Um, so in order to do this, it's much easier to double cling film it so it gives it strength and stability for, for when you get it out of the mould. So what I'm doing here is a lot easier to actually double, double cling film on, on a surface as like so and then 
And then you have it like that. You can't do one, one at a time because it, it, it'll just be carnage. But here, as you can see, this just goes in nicely because I've lined the tin with oil and the hay presser. Beautiful. Lipids that have been blended nicely, re uh, really smooth. But to, to ensure that we get the perfect smoothness, we will put it through a fine sieve. Like so, okay? Okay, so it's a lot easier as well if you use a ladle to pass it through. So what we've got, we've got the pure liquid coming down the, the bottom now. Hopefully it will basically leave us all that's left. And what we can do to eradicate any waste is re-blend with a hand blender. So there's no waste at all. We have the infusion of all the alcohol and the thyme and the garlic. Yeah. That beautiful velvety colour is what we're looking for. So we're looking at a reduction at least by half, approximately 200 mils if you can. But And also it's very important that we get this relatively cool as well. Right, so we're, here we have a smooth parfait, but we're going to add our eggs in now and we're going to use a hand blender because it's easier. But um, the recipe states eight eggs, but we've used ten small ones because we have got our own chickens and we're utilising the eggs that we have. So do, on doing that... reduce enough down to what we're looking for so the next thing is we're going to sieve it into a jug and then immediately cool it because then that will get added into our parfait in the next but what once it's cool so it should be about 20 minutes right so we have eight to 825 grams of butter melted and now we're, and it's cool now so we're going to add that bit by bit into our uh, offal. Be careful, but we don't split it. If you over blend it, it will split. But the secret is, if you keep blending, it will come back. Right, so now our liquor is nice and cool. This is our parfait blender. So now we're gonna add this to the mix. You'll see it change color. When you put the butter in, but you'll, you'll see it change colour again when you put the, the dark liquor in. There we go. So you have to make sure it's blended thoroughly. But like I said before, don't over blend it because it will split. And you don't want that. But this, like I said, before the secret, if it does split, if you keep going with the blender, it will come back. So now we're going to season it. This is the last process before we cook it. So I have a mixture here of salt and pepper. But everyone's different and everyone has different tastes. So this is to my taste. But you have to be remember to be a little bit more generous uh, with the with the salt because uh, it brings out the f really brings out the flavour. But again, it's difficult because you can't taste it because it's in its raw form. So you ha you have to I I'd probably say about 15 grams of salt and uh, eight grams of pepper. 
Okay, so now uh, we, we I, I have uh, got three tins lined, and we're, uh, we're going to cook it in a bain marie. Uh, basically, so the bain marie is like a little little water bath, so it, uh, the the bottom does not burn or catch. So it's very important that we do this. So I'm going to pour water in the bottom. You basically want it about a quarter way covered, uh, sorry, a, qu a quarter way filled up, so all the butter the bottom is all covered. Okay, so we basically poured in a litre of a liquid for the bain marie, and now we're going to pour our parfait mix into the, the terrain molds that we lined. It will expand and get bigger because there's eggs in it, so you don't fill it too much because you, you want some space for it to rise. There we have it. So that's ready to, to, to go in on 110 degrees in a preheated oven and also we need to foil it and if you've got a probe ideally this is a must really uh, should cook it to 75 degrees uh, that's a safe cooking point of, of, of anything especially with livers and offal okay so as you can see now we are ready to put in the oven we've covered it nicely uh, uh, with foil so the top doesn't get burnt and the, 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 the bottom certainly won't because it's in the water bath. So, uh, so now we're going to put it into our preheated oven. Very carefully. say in the middle of the oven okay. okay so now it's been in just over an hour so now it's time to carefully remove remember, remember this water in the bottom of it so it's be very gentle now See, it's set. So now we probe it to a safe temperature that's uh, within the legal requirements, which is 75 degrees. When probing, it's very important that we get the, get the core temperature, which is not the top, not, not, the, not at the bottom, but in the middle. So when you put the probe in, it's very important that that is situated itself in the middle. Now we've taken the uh, the parfait out of the bain marie. We're going to leave it on the side here for half an hour until it reduces its temperature, and then we'll put them in the fridge overnight to uh, to set. So uh, it should be tomorrow. Should be a beautiful, spreadable uh, parfait which I hope you all enjoy. Hello, so uh, we, we've set our parfait overnight. Again, it's, it has had more than 12 hours. Uh, I've added a fig puree to it, which is basically uh, figs, sugar, salt and garlic. And, uh, and of course, my favorite and, and our famous red, red, sticky red cabbage chutney. Okay, so there you have the complete dish. So now we're gonna uh, pass, pass it over to our chief taster, Luke. Go and taste it and tell the world what you think. So this, this is utilizing all of the pig, yeah? Not just the, 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 uh, the main cuts, but the offal as well. And it's such a beautiful sight to see. 
to, to, to see uh, how much you can use other pig. So, what do you think, Luke? It's amazing. Do you like it? Oh. Good boy. So, if, if an eight-year-old can eat it, I'm sure the adults will certainly appreciate the offer.